welcome to another episode of uh, TS Talks. We're going to talk about uh, a pretty common thing that comes up for us using KPIs and OKRs. Open question, Connor or Craig, uh, what's a common confusion? Or what's a common question that people have relating to, to KPIs and, and OKRs? Um, most of the time that uh, I get this confused is just kind of in day-to-day life when I tell people what I do and what kind of company I work for and I start to tell them about OKRs, they immediately assume that OKRs are KPIs and that the two are one and the same. Um, but that's not the case. Yeah, I think that uh, most yeah. commonly they get confused as, you know, what's the difference between a KPI and a key result is what I find the most. <laughs> Maybe one of you guys can give us a, a swift definition. Maybe what's what's the difference? So uh, KPI, key performance indicator, is really any sort of metric or statistic that might be important to the system that you're talking about. So within the context of a company, it could be anything from monthly recurring revenue to the number of employees um, to the average number of meetings that your employees have on a day-to-day basis. Whereas an OKR is a format to setting metrics and achievable goals, objectives, and then key results. So the sort of simple explanation is that a KPI is anything that you might want to track Whereas a key result is basically which metrics you are looking to improve in order to most uh, strategically impact your business. And now taking a step back from that, Connor, how does that play in with OKRs? So an OKR versus, you know, modern KPIs, essentially. Right. So I think where the two tie in is in your OKR setting process that a business might be doing towards the end of a quarter or the start of a new quarter. In order to determine what your objective should be, um, you sort of have to have a good knowledge as to what state your business is in. And what better way to have that knowledge than to consistently track any and all metrics that might demonstrate the health of certain sectors of your business. So tracking those KPIs and understanding where they are can really help you in that objective and key result formulating process where you can see, hey, our K- this particular KPI was doing really well. It started to dip. I think we need to focus on this in the coming quarter. Okay, so KPIs can help you uh, pretty much set your strategies for a quarter or a year to see what you need to focus on. Exactly. Okay. Um, I'm a big uh, sports analogies kind of guy. So a good example would be for, I guess, particularly a baseball team. Um, You might look at different stats that you've had over the past season and you might notice, okay, well, our pitching was fine. Um, All of our pitchers had low ERAs, but we lost a lot of games and we think that's mostly due to our strikeout rate. So our batters struck out at the highest rate in the league and we didn't hit any home runs. So in the coming off season, we need to focus on that while also maintaining that level of pitching that we had in the past season. Okay. So that's a good example. So your KPIs in that sense would be your striking your strikeouts and your home runs. And then you focus that and make those key results for your objective to, you know, win more games. <laughs> exactly. So they're key things that you would monitor whilst not particularly you're focusing on improving them. I yep. think even, um, I think a lot of people who just use KPIs, they still have this concept of um, working to improve KPIs. So you would still have like an idea of, okay, I want to increase the number of sales qualified leads that we have in the business by 100% this quarter, all this year. And I think whilst that's good and that sounds quite like a key result, I think the the problem that you have with those is there's it misses that qualitative nature of the of an objective. Like, okay, I want to increase my sales qualified leads by 100%. 
why what's like the thing that we're trying to achieve with that i know it's just we're going to generate more sales but what's the objective what's the thing that everyone else can get behind and contribute towards so guys how do we track kpis in gtm hub i I think the short answer or one word answer for how we track kpis in gtm hub is uh extensively we have a large list of kpis that are in our live account um, our gtm hub instance of gtm hub and we do uh, everything we can to automate every single KPI that we have in our system. That is to ensure that we aren't basically making more work for ourselves by tracking these KPIs. Um, so that, that's sort of the short answer is we track everything that we can and we automate everything that we can. So kind of you ever experienced the KPIs section becoming unmanageable or just the tracking of KPIs becoming unmanageable? Uh, I definitely have. So as you sort of expand um, on the number of KPIs that you're tracking and particularly for large enterprises, you're gonna, going to end up with a lot of data and it could be difficult to visualize it and understand what is going on without spending a lot of time digging into the data. Now, one thing that we've done here at GTM Hub to help address that is by creating a uh, insight board called the KPI Health Overview. And we utilize this board to try to give our customers a snapshot into their KPIs that they have in the system. So they can see which KPIs are trending up the most, which KPIs are trending down the most, and you can kind of easily digest what's happening within your business through this insight board. So what we have here is an example uh, is a sample account or a sandbox account that we have. And this is our KPIs section. Now within this KPIs section, we have it broken up into different groups. So these are the various groups that we have KPIs associated with. So as we start to expand these out, we can see the different metrics that are important or that might be important for a particular business. So this is how these are tracked and they are automated. So every single day you'll get a new value populating these KPIs. Now, just looking at this board can kind of be a little overwhelming. Um, The green and the red can certainly help you to see whether a KPI is moving in the direction that it should or whether it is moving in the direction that it shouldn't. But this doesn't necessarily give you a perfect view as to how things have been going over the last um, week, month, quarter, year, or so on and how these KPIs compare to similar KPIs. So one thing that we've done to sort of improve on this is by providing this insight board, the KPI health overview. So within this board, we have this KPI health monitor insight. And this insight allows you to see and sort by the different uh, metrics associated with each KPI. So what the current value is, which KPIs have had the greatest value changes, either negatively or positively. And then you can also do that by percentage. So certain KPIs maybe have improved um, over a large percentage quantity or not improved. And as you click on these, we have this chart showing on the right that gives you a decent look into how this KPI has been trending over the past uh, however however long. And as you go down, we have a couple other insights that help with this. You can see your KPIs that have trended up the most over your selected date range, again, either by percentage or just by um, flat value. And then we have the opposite view. What are the KPIs that have suffered the most? over your selected date range. And then again, by percentage or by value. Now at the bottom here, this is a a couple of insights that give you a view into how your process of tracking and uh, inputting KPIs is going. So right here uh, on in the middle, we have your KPI automations. So ideally you want this number to be as high as possible. That way you're avoiding any manual entry of data into your system. And then over here on the left, we wanna just give a quick overview as to how things are going. 
Nice. So, so would yeah. you say that the, the main purpose of this board is to help leaders efficiently and effectively determine what KPIs need to be focused on? Or is it just- Exactly. Okay. Exactly. It, it would, the purpose of this board would, in my opinion, be twofold. Number one, what you just said, Craig, which is to help leadership within a business understand their business better and to help them out with their OKR uh, formulation process. Uh, and then number two, it would be to sort of increase and improve upon transparency within a business. Um, that way, um, employees can easily see what we as a company are doing well and what we as a company are not doing well. That way, we can focus on the right things. Cool. Thanks, Connor, for showing us the KPI health of you, Bod. Uh, and that's bye from us. See you guys next time. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye.